Meanwhile, it's day two for a Norfolk police officer on trial in Chesapeake. Edmund Hoyt is charged with voluntary manslaughter in the deadly shooting of Kelvin White back in 2020. And your side's Kiana Patterson was back in court for today's testimony. Kiana? Yes, court just let out not too long ago when we heard from Jessica Hoyt, who is the wife of Edmund Hoyt. She says she felt threatened by Kelvin White while she was walking to Food Lion with her two young kids. She told the jury she was afraid and called her husband because she knew he would show up quickly. Jessica Hoyt explains what happened on January 19, 2020. She tells the jury she was walking to the Food Lion on Bainbridge Boulevard with her two-year-old and four-year-old when a man she identifies as Kelvin White approached her. She says he refused to let her pass on the sidewalk and she didn't want to go into the street or into a grassy area. Jessica says she felt threatened and told White she has mace. Then White reportedly said he had a knife and would stab her in the face. She then called her husband and not the police. Earlier in the day, the jury got to see the interview from her husband, Edmund Hoyt. Edmund told a homicide detective he was asleep when his wife called him, saying she was stabbed in the face. Within three minutes, he was confronting White with a gun pointed at him. Edmund told him to get down because he was off-duty law enforcement. White refused to get down. When Edmund didn't see a knife, he says he put the gun away, and the two got into a fight, ending with Edmund shooting six times, striking White three times. The medical examiner reports a gunshot wound to the torso was the cause of death. No alcohol or medicine was in his system, including the medicine he needs to treat paranoia schizophrenia. The defense called several mental health workers within the city of Chesapeake who say White was never hostile toward them, but he does have a history of not taking his medication. The mental health workers told the jury his mom and his aunts were very invested in his treatment. The defense argues the evidence proves Edmund acted in self-defense, while the Commonwealth believes Edmund attacked a mentally ill man. Edmund Hoyt is expected to take the stand first thing tomorrow morning. We will be inside of the courtroom for that. But coming up at 6 o'clock, you'll hear from Kelvin White's family, who believes that he was attacked. In Chesapeake, Kiana Patterson, turn on your side.